20 headphones in seven categories. Best running headphones 2024, let's get into it. Yes, we've been testing over 40 different headphones to make this shortlist amongst the running channel team. Plus we've also asked you what your favorites are, but more on that in a little bit. So coming up, the categories we have are Best open ear. Best sound quality. Best fit. Best on a budget. Best durability. Best battery life. And best over the ear. Don't know why I need to do jazz hands for that. <laughs> but I did. So we're going to start off with open ear headphones. Now, James, people might actually not know what this is. So can you explain what an open ear headphone is? So essentially, there are kind of two categories within this. So there are the bone conducting ones that sit stereotypically just around here. Open ear means you can hear the outside world. They are open. But there are also some that will um, sit just on top of the ear canal, but not actually in the ear canal. So again, you're able to hear everything that's going around you. So you might want to consider getting yourself a pair of open ear headphones for racing situations. So in a lot of races, especially in the UK, these are the only headphones that you're allowed to wear. So definitely check the rules and regulations of the competition that you are signed up to. And we have four great open ear options to show you, starting off with... The Shox Open Run Pro. We've got the Sinto Wing. The Bose Ultra Open Earbuds. And the Clear Audio Arc 2. So starting off with the Shox. The now, OGs. Yeah, this, if you think of an open ear headphone, this is quite often what people picture. So this is a bone conducting technology. So they sit just above the ear here and actually conduct the music through the bone itself. It feels a bit weird. I'm not a fan at all of yeah, this you, kind of technology. You do kind of have to accept that there is a little bit less good audio quality than what you would get from other headphones that we're going to talk about later on. However, for podcasts and being able to hear what is going on around you in your environment, I think they're great. And a very similar design is the Sunto headphones. I feel like these are slightly finessed versions of the shocks. So one bit of technology that I really like is it actually has a little LED lights on the side. So an additional element to help you be seen while you're out running. You can also skip a track just by nodding your head, which I think is very cool, especially if you're a runner and a cyclist, you can do both. Jess from the Running Channel tested this and did say that the audio quality is a little bit better. So if you are looking for something a bit more premium, comes with a price tag, these are a great option. Yeah, speaking of comes with a price tag. <laughs> Let's go, and speaking of innovation, these are absolutely bonkers. Yeah, so price tag wise, you can buy two of these for the price of this, just bear that in mind. But the audio quality is phenomenal. So they sit quite weirdly in your ear. So they do take a bit of getting used to, so they kind of hook around and the music is played just into your ear, but it doesn't sit within the ear canal. So you can still hear everything going on, but the audio quality is phenomenal. Both are known for the audio quality and they haven't skipped on that while trying to allow runners to be more safe when they are running. We are really taking off how many different things can you fit around your ear. And then the last ones from Clear are a completely different design as well. So it kind of reminds me of a hearing aid, but in a good way, it kind of sits over the top of your ear. Only things to consider with these, Mark from the Running Channel tested these and he said that if you've got a slightly smaller ear or if if you want something that is a really secure fit, you don't really get that with this. So he did feel a bit nervous taking these out for say a speed session where your head's moving around a lot. However, loved the audio quality and they feel really premium. But again, that does come with a price tag. Yes, and I suppose it's time to do the winners and yeah. I've already read it by picking up them. <laughs> <laughs> Has to be these. Yeah, the technology is phenomenal. The price tag it is massive. I would suggest if you really want a pair, wait until a little bit down the line when maybe there's some discounts, but yeah. they are worth the price tag for the technology. These are like one headphone to do everything. I've used these in commutes as well as on the run. That is the thing with open ear. You have to make the debate. Are you buying a set of headphones for running and then you're going to use a different set in daily life? But would you say you can use these for both? 100%. Right, let's move on. So next up, we have best for sound quality. Yeah, we've got three nominations for this. So we have first up is the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds. Yeah, we've got the Bose Ultra Open and earbuds. And the Apple AirPods Pro. So starting off with these Bose. Now you tested a previous iteration of this last year as well, didn't you? Yeah, so they, they say they're the previous, not the previous iteration, but they are identical and some of the technology has been brought across. But the thing I love about it is they've got lots of different uh, ear tips and also these wings that fit in your ear, but the sound quality is mind blowingly good. It has um, immersive audio, which basically sounds like music is coming from all around you. And there's a mode you can have where it moves with your head. It is genuinely mind blowing especially on a commute, the sound quality is phenomenal. Obviously we have um, open ear headphones, which a lot of them do have phenomenal sound quality, but we feel like the counterbalance of portability and the sound quality, which is, is phenomenal, is why these are on the nominations. I feel like as well, Bose has a really good like turning on sound, which I really enjoy. And that is why we have also put these from Bose in this category as well. These were in our open ear category. However, the sound quality was so good that we felt we had to bring a pair of open ear headphones into this category, which 
I don't think we've ever done before. No, definitely not done before, but again, it showcases just how good the technology is. And then last up is one that you will see everyone have. One of the best because they are just useful in every kind of situation. The Apple AirPods, these are second generation, so they come with MagSafe and also improved audio technology. And they are, I mean, they still look weird. I don't know what <laughs> Apple thought this was gonna look, but they, the technology they brought in again and again and again just made them phenomenal. Also headphones. for a pair of headphones that you're gonna use on a run and also in other situations, these are great for commuting, on a train, on a loud plane. You've got that kind of noise cancelling element to it as well that's just really, really good. And the quality that you get for music and podcasts and everything else from these is unbeatable. But out of all of these, who wins? Well, talking about noise cancelling and the audio quality, there can be really only one winner with these. The Bose are just way above anyone when it comes to audio technology and the sound quality itself. Next up, we have Best Fit. Yeah, so we've got the JBL Endurance Peak 3. The Beats Power Beats Pro. And the Adidas Forward 2 Sport. So starting off with JBL, first thing to say about these is, I know we're doing Best Fit, it's a big case. It is a chunky boy. It is boy. chunky, but then the headphones that you get do fit very, very snug to your ears. Something to bear in mind is they are £100 cheaper than some of the other nominees we have, so they are under 100 quid. So you have to bear that in mind with some of the materials that you get, so the, the actual bit that fits over your ear does kind of start to feel a bit scratchy after a while but battery life and the audio quality pretty amazing and the power is on yeah and they've got this kind of power hook so it really snugly fits around your ear that is the one thing i would say is that if you're wearing them for a whole marathon you might get a little bit of ache because it is sitting kind of on your ear but really really great headphone and very similar in look and feel to the beats which again another very chunky case so if you're looking for something small and compact these probably aren't it but in terms of fit really really great I also love the contrast between the color of the headphone and the case I think that's quite cool so up until this year these were my go-to headphone for every single run you have to wait until the end to oh, see what that, my go-to headphone teasing. is now he's got a different but choice. I absolutely love these headphones they fit so well around your ear I move around a lot obviously as you can tell uh, um, and also just you moving your head around a lot when I run and they have, I've never ever worried about them coming out they fit so well the audio quality is amazing obviously they are um, they are called beats but they're actually owned by Apple, so the technology that comes through them, you, you can tell that with the audio quality you get. Much softer material, much sleeker compared to the JBL as well, so you do just get a really nice snug fit. And I believe one of the adverts for these was a gymnast, so if it stays on their ears, you know you're good. <laughs> Unless you're doing a somersault in your run. Which is and what then, I do. <laughs> and then finally finishing off with the Adidas. Now, you were saying this case is kind of material on the top just to allow them to breathe if you do get smelly headphones, which is Yeah, quite I've nice. never thought about smelly headphones. Um, Elliot reviewed these, so. No, nope, he's all good. <laughs> Great. What I love about these as well is that the case is magnetic, so you can kind of pull it off. It's not breaking. But again, the fit for these is very different. You get lots of kind of customizability with the fins and the kind of different rods that you can put on. So lots of it kind of comes off so you can get a really snug fit in your ear. Yeah, and they're also meant to be sort of glove friendly. So a lot of these um, headphones have touch interfaces, which obviously if you've got gloves on or sweaty hands, just are useless. Whereas these have more of a tactile approach, so they are more useful when you're out on the run and you're getting sweaty. So those are our choices in terms of best fit, but there's only one winner. What have we chosen, James? It had to be the Beats Power mm -hmm. Beats Pro. They are just another level when it comes to fit and audio quality, yeah. and also the fact that you can sweat buckets and they don't break. So now time for my favorite category where we go through what you can get for less. This time it is best on a budget. Yes, yeah, so we've got three nominations for these. So we have the Tribit Flybuds 3. We've got the JLab Go Air Pop. And the JLab Go Air Sport. Yeah, so starting off with Tribit. Now, thoughts on these? Well, I was calling them Tribit for most of the reviews I did for this. <laughs> they are, again, they look like every other headphone on the market when it comes to this kind of in-ear fit. The fit is quite narrow. I found it quite difficult to get a good enough fit actually in the ear, but the sound quality for the price pretty damn impressive. A staple with Tribit as well that I love that they haven't got rid of is the fact that you can charge your phone from the charging case. So if you're looking for a portable charger and a headphone, this is great. And it still gets for the price, which is so minimal, you still get lots of customizability. So you've got ear fins to interchange, the end comes off, the sound quality, yes, it might not be as good as some of the others in this category, but you are paying a lot less. So you kind of have to accept that that's gonna be the case. Also gonna be the case with these from JLab. So again, if you compare the casing system, the size is pretty phenomenally different. Mm -hmm. But one thing I do love is the fact that you already have the charging cable built in. I do love this. This is a great gimmick. My only reservation though, is that if the cable breaks, 
I don't know how quick it's going to be to fix. However, you can get these for under 30 quid. So if you're looking for something where you're not going to care too much if it gets lost or broken or something goes wrong, these are a great shout. Yeah, so the customizability element from the, these ones are gone. So you have the different earbuds you can put in, but there is no other customizability with it. And they are surprisingly weighty for an earbud. Yeah, but you do get relatively good sound quality. Tom from The Running Channel tested these on a plane, watched a number of films and said that he couldn't hear anything else and the sound quality was great. So if you are looking for a really versatile headphone that isn't gonna break the bank, this might be a great option. The other option though from JLab is these, which are their sport headphones. So this kind of works similar to the Beats that we were looking at earlier, where it's got this fin going around the back of your ear. So if you are looking for something similar to Beats, but with a much lower price point, these are a great shout. Yeah, and again, they have the same kind of charging cable as the other one. Very, very nifty. Now, only one winner. Who have we chosen, James? So I've got them in my hand. We have chosen these ones, the fit and the audio quality for the price point. It's quite hard to beat. And actually really soft around the ear compared to some of the other ones with a much higher price point. These actually feel really plush. Okay, so next up we have best durability. So headphones you can take anywhere, do anything with, they're the ones you want to pick. Yeah, we've got three in this category. We've got the Jabra Elite 8 Active. The Jaybird Vista 2s. And the Shox Open Run Pro. So starting off with the Jabra, the first thing that we're going to talk about with this category is that all of these headphones have an IP rating, which stands for... Ingress Protection. Yeah, so you've got a score basically. It'll say IP and then two numbers. The first one is to do with solids and that's rated out of six. And then the second one is to do with liquids and that's rated out of eight. So essentially the higher the number, the the better. Now these, the case has a lower IP rating, but the IP rating for the headphones is IP68. Yeah, so the highest you can get for solids, which always makes me think of something gross, but it's dust <laughs> protection. So this is the highest protection you can get with dust. They also like to stress that they've got a coating, which kind of, again, keeps it in place, keeps it a bit grippier, but the sound quality for these is great as well. So they're not just durable, they sound good too. I think the most impressive thing with these is that they've survived being tested by Rick. So if you listen to the Running Channel podcast. He's a man that does not care for technology. But that he found them great. Now, next up, these are ones, come on Jess, reach, there we go. <laughs> next up, these are ones that I have tested. So this is the Jaybirds. Now these literally say that they are earth proof and uh, they really are. So a little bit of a story time. These were the first iteration of these headphones that I ever tested. So these are a bit out of date now, but these survived my puppy Monty's teething phase, shall we say. You can see from the case just how far he dug in, but then when you open up into the headphones, they are absolutely fine. Now you might think, my lack of care with headphones stops there, but it doesn't. The second iteration, I accidentally left one of these in a legging pocket, washed them, and I now couldn't tell you which one it was because they both work perfectly. That's Maybe don't good try review. that at home, but yeah, these are waterproof, dustproof, sweatproof. They really do stand up to anything you throw at them. Really, really impressive headphones. Okay, and next up is the shocks, which I mean, you can kind of guess while we put this in durability. Yeah. With the fact that they are pretty damn malleable when it comes to headphones. Again, and a break. really nice high IP rating as well. So it just means that if you are going out for a run in the rain and it's absolutely chucking it down, you can be pretty confident that all of these will survive. Yeah, but there can only be one winner. And we have chosen the dog washing machine proof headphones. If you're looking for something that you can throw at ultra marathons or out in the wet trails or just out round the track when it's absolutely chucking it down or you drop your headphones a lot or you have a dog or a washing machine, these are great. Yep, on to the next one. These are durable. <sighs> Whoa. So up next, it's best battery life, a category that James is obsessed with as an ultra runner, and we've got three headphones in this one. Yes, so we have the JLab Epic Air Sport. We've got the JBL Endurance Peak 3. And then the Adidas Sport Repeat 2 Solar. <laughs> long, long name. <laughs> Those are a mouthful, thank you, Jess. Now, these, very similar to the other JLabs we mentioned earlier on, but with a phenomenal battery life. Yeah, so there's 15 hours of battery life on the ear alone, and then combined with the case, it's up to 70 hours of battery life. Perfect for me, as someone who perpetually forgets to charge their headphones. And if you have forgotten, you don't even need to remember the charging cable because again like the other ones you've got the cable attached to the case at the bottom really great great sound quality as well really nice fit around your ears you're getting a really snug fit and for the price point i think those are a very good investment now up next thank you jess we have these from jbl what's the battery on these james so these have got a 10 hour and then a 40 hour combined with the case again so we've obviously talked about these with the fit it has a very close up fit that fits very well in the ear and then again, the sound quality is pretty pretty decent. Yeah, the case is quite chunky, so it's not the lightest thing to carry around in your bag, but you are carrying around a lot of battery life as well. I just wish some like these, like with the Tribit ones we mentioned earlier, also turned into a power bank because the amount of like power that you've got in these cases are incredible. And then this last one, have you ever wanted a headphone that would never run out of charge? Well, this one is powered by the sun. 
yeah, it has solar power technology built into the actual headphone itself, which is bonkers. Technology has come on so much in headphones. It also has an 80 hour battery reserve. So obviously charge it the whole way up. It does actually have an ability to charge, but Adidas is so confident you're not gonna need it. They don't even give you a cable, but you can charge it the whole way up to the 80 hours and then just head out and enjoy hopefully never having to charge it ever again. Yeah, I don't know whether I would trust that in the UK with the lack of sun that we get, but I do think this is very cool, especially if you are someone that likes using overhead earphones, it is very, very cool that you can go out walking for the entire day and have them not run out of charge. But the winner that we've chosen is the JLab, just because of the fit, the audio quality, and the phenomenal battery life that you get from the headphones and the case, we felt like these ones had to win. Okay, so next up is best over the ear headphone, which stereotypically we wouldn't recommend as a category here at the Ren Channel. No, you're not really gonna get the same in terms of sweat proof, waterproofness. You're not really gonna be able to hear your surroundings. So it's not quite as safe as some of the other headphones that we've mentioned, but we did have a lot of requests for this. And so that is why we've included it this year. One thing to note though, is that we did request a pair of headphones from Apple, but they actually said that they wouldn't recommend their over ear headphones for running. So that's why they're not included in this. So instead we are reviewing Beats Solo 3. We've got the Beats Studio Pro. And back again is the Adidas Sport Repeat 2 Solar. Yeah, so starting off with the Beats, thank you Jess. So these sit very much on your ears. So if you're someone that gets kind of earache, I personally prefer an overhead earphone to fit around rather than on. Jess has reviewed these, she has tiny ears, so they probably were <laughs> over ear headphones, but they the sound quality, Beats are phenomenally well known throughout every industry for being incredible sound quality, and these live up to that. Yeah, it's probably worth talking about those and these next ones at the same time. So I reviewed these equally incredible sound quality. These fit all the way around my ears, which I really liked. I feel like the buttons are really simple to use. It's easy to learn the way of the headphone. I feel like that's something we haven't mentioned yet is with every single headphone we've discussed so far, there's different kind of taps and presses and finding the power on button is something that's a little bit difficult. But with both of these, it feels really nice to get started and get going. Yeah, in terms of connecting, obviously these are they have the Apple chips in, so super easy to connect to your Apple products. And yeah, the sound quality is just phenomenal. So stepping down in audio quality, but stepping up in terms of usability, maybe for a run. Yeah, so these are probably a little bit better in terms of kind of like sweat proof. And like we mentioned before, they've got the solar charging panel on the top. So in terms of battery life, you're far better off than with these two headphones. Yep, but there could be only one winner. Yes, and we've had to go for these. In terms of overall fit, sound quality, and if you're looking for an overhead headphone and you kind of want that more than you want a headphone that's perfect for sports, definitely consider these Beats Studio Pro. So there you have it. That is every headphone in every category, but we've saved the best for last. Yes, that is a TLC and community pick of the year. So TLC first. Sarah, what have you picked? I have picked, thank you, Jess, these Jaybird Vistas. They just can cope with every single thing that life throws at them, or I throw at them, as I explained earlier on. They are the ones that I reach for the most. I feel like the update, they haven't updated it in a few years now, and in my my opinion they really don't need to i get a perfect fit in my ear sound quality is amazing job done really but what have you chosen yeah i've chosen the bose ultra open earbuds i am now an open ear headphone runner these have completely changed the game for me and they're the headphone i use every day day in day out they are very cool i'm excited to see what other developments happen next year and it seems like lots of our trc community are also open ear lovers because your pick the trc community 2024 headphone of choice is Shocks Open Run Pro, they are an absolute staple. They've got better and better. I love the new colors that they're coming out with as well. And this is what you picked as your headphone of choice. So these are our three top picks, but let us know in the comments what you would pick. And if you want to watch another video, watch me and Sarah running through the best running shoes of 2023.